Okay, first thing, uh, everyone completed their homework in here, so nice job. Okay, your homework tonight is a 7172 review. All that is, is it has addition problems with decimals, subtraction problems with decimals, and multiplication problems with decimals. Some of them are word problems, so you do need to be able to figure out what operation it is. Uh, there's not a lot of questions on it, if I remember right, but uh, please make sure we're completing that for tomorrow, and all those homework assignments will be due Sunday. Please be honest with me right now. How is homework going? I know homework is not fun, no one likes to do homework, but is it going okay? Thank you, I appreciate it. Honest feedback. Um, okay, so what we're going to do today is we're going to do a quick add, subtract, multiply with decimal review. And then with that quick decimal review, you're going to determine what you need help on. And then from there, you'll either work on adding decimals, subtracting decimals, multiplying decimals, or working strictly on word problems. Okay, so our objective for today is to be able to solve multiplication decimal problems and solve word problems. Any questions? Okay, um, how about we use the back of this paper I just gave you and a pencil. I'm going to give you three problems up in the board. I want you to solve them in this area over here. You're not solving those problems on paper, that's for later. I want you to solve these problems. What's it? Number one. Let's try 27 and 6 tenths plus. 32 and 29 hundredths. Okay. Question number two is going to be 85 and 2 tenths minus 16 and 81 hundredths. Question number three is going to be 14 and 2 tenths times 0 and 24 hundredths. Okay. So on the right side of this paper, go ahead and solve those three problems. This will determine um, what you need to work on. The very back of your paper. Just empty space. Question number one, what did you get for an answer? No one wants to share their answer? What did you get? Good job reading that, right? And that is the correct answer. When setting that up, you take 27 and 6 tenths, plus 32 and 2900s. Does anyone want to share what they did? Nick? 
that I have zero here at least in my life. Do we line the decimal points up? Yes, we have to line the decimal points up. Okay. Alright, number two, what'd you get? Jackson? 68. 68 and 39 hundredths. Do we agree? That is the correct answer. Okay, I'm setting this up. We have 85 and 2 tenths. Why is 85 and 2 tenths on top of the subtraction problem? Nick? Perfect, because it came first in the problem, not because it's the larger number. Alright, again, the same thing, you are adding a zero here. Okay? Alright. This is the correct answer. Questions, comments, concerns? Alright, and let's go to the last one. We have 14 and 2 tenths. And 24 hundredths. Do we line the decimal points up when we multiply? No. No. Lincoln, what do you get? I got 3 and 4 tenths. And so we just say this as 408. Thousands. Okay? That's exactly what it is. So, 3 and 408,000. All right. We got it. Perfect. Um, what I want you to do is first, stand up. Stand up. Don't look so enthusiastic right now. You can take an enthusiasm right now. Are you ready? You know what we're going to do, right? Oh. Yeah. In three, two, one. Line up the decimal when you add and subtract, but not when you multiply. Okay. All right. You can have a seat. All right. What I want you to do. This is you becoming an independent learner. You need to figure out what you need to do to best help yourself. Okay? Do you or did you struggle on these three problems? Okay? If you did, I would like for you, I say if you did not struggle, if you feel confident on doing all three operations, I want you to work on the word problems. Word problems with decimals. Okay, so you do the same thing, just adding, making a word problem. If you complete these, you've got them all right, but you do not feel confident, I would do at least one of each problem here on the back. If you got one of them wrong, let's say you got number two wrong. Or you feel confident about one and three. What do you think you should do? Both? Just work on the subtraction problems. Or if it's the multiplication one that you got wrong, when you feel confident on adding subtraction, just work on the multiply. So you need to figure out what you need help with. What do you feel confident in? That makes sense. Yes, no. Okay. Alright, so right now I want you to work on what you need to work on. Help yourself. I will be around. I'll check your answers. Help you any way that I can. So make sure you ask questions. Alright?